Queen DJ and in today's video I will be reacting to to episodes 9 and 10 of Squid Girls. It's gonna get started with episode 9 in 3, 2, 1, go. BTW, I did check in this episode because you know, you know how you have that weird feeling. You're like, let me check and make sure that this is sub or this is dub. Well, um, I accidentally thought I had it on sub. I don't dub, but I have subtitles, so <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting hour for this show. Uh, I feel like we're going to, it's going to be very similar to like when I watched, um, I think it was the first or second episode of season two of Fire Force and how I had, it had subtitles on it, but it was the dub and I was just like, okay. <laughs> Oh god. Lord, they over here ding dong ditching. <laughs> Inca, yes, it does. It is considered rude, but you know, kids do it. Don't be stupid and try it. I know you like, see, and this is what I love about Inca. She's like, yes, I am a kid. Let me, you know, be in kid activities. I gotta experience it. Stop. <laughs> this girl. I feel like Inga is going to give herself a freaking concussion the more she does that. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, shit. Actually make a friend and be a friend to her. Mm-hmm. This baby's first real friend. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. You know how you feel like a proud mommy moment? Proud mommy moment right now. Mm. Uh oh.
would it be okay? Yeah, because you know cheese are gonna <laughs> cheese are gonna be like fuck them up. <laughs> Shit, I can't. But it is, you know, they're they're the homeowners. Well, essentially, really, their parents are. But still, <laughs> go on, open the door. <laughs> yeah, big sister, huh? <laughs> yeah, good. Okay, fuck, I can relax. It's just they go. <laughs> Me too. No, she's just happy. Oh my god. No, honey. It's not poison. Oh no! You okay? <laughs> oh shit, I can't. She sure is. <laughs> That's lipstick. No, no. Uh you put it on your lips.
Oh, God. There you go. Pretty. You look so mature. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It's like, I'm getting everything. <laughs> yeah, they're just really tanned. Yeah. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, because it's summer. Well, then we're got to. Did you get it? <laughs> she got it! on you though but it's pretty though <laughs> well something not too heavy but then not too light you want something in the middle yeah happens with most girls. Hmm? Oh, of course you will. Got a question, though. No. Like war paint? Yeah, like war paint, basically. <laughs> oh, Nani, this is so pretty! to try. That's so cute. Oh. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 
Oh, that's today in Florida. Because when I went outside with my dog, I was like, God dang, it's hot as hell. Like, what is the degrees today? 78. But to wait until summer. It's going to be so freaking hot outside. Oh, hey, Sunday. Uh oh, damn. Yeah. I mean, technically, she's already gone and going to. Really more in the same room. Damn. You know what? Um, no comment on that last little bit. <laughs> no comment at all. Yeah, she's in the water now. Right. <laughs> well, you know, that's good, but still, you know, if the cops see her.
France. The watermelon? Yeah. Cause you're the shortest. Yeah. Oh my god. Baby's first friends in the ending too. That's so fucking cute. And they're holding hands. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. Oh. Stop it. Show. See. The, just the little things. Once again. The little things about this show freaking matters. Oh my god, we better see more of her in this show, I swear to god. Because we are almost done with season one, and going to start season two in like the next two weeks, probably. But oh, I wasn't expecting it to be her. I thought it would just be like Inca and then, you know, the scientist and Cindy in the background using the ray and such. But today's episode was very interesting. I'm glad Inka made a friend in Kiyomi, even with the situation of inviting someone without, you know, the person's permission and such. But, I mean, hey, at least Chizu and Inka were okay with it. <laughs> because you always, no matter what, want to ask, like, someone who is older than you, hey, can my friend come over, da 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 because, you know, it is rude. Especially. Heck, the girl learned how rude Ding Dong Ditch is, even though technically she really didn't... She did it, but she just didn't go through the whole thing. The hell's up? <laughs> She's gonna play baseball. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking hilarious. But yeah, I really am happy that she was able to make another friend because as much as I love Eiko Chizuru and um, Tekiru and kind of Nagisa and then, you know, what's her face, she doesn't really have someone who is almost somewhat close to the same age as her. And so for her to finally get a friend, it makes you wonder, um... Oh, excuse me, oh my goodness. Um, it makes you wonder... If, um, there's going to be, like, episodes later on, specifically looking at season two, if she is going to make another friend, and all three of them are going to hang out. Because, I mean, yeah, a duo is awesome, but sometimes you want a trio. Having three best friends is better than sometimes than just two, so, 
Yes, 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 yes. But today's episode was very interesting. I love the fact that she got to learn about makeup and such for a day because, of course, she needs something to be terrifying. And yes, sometimes you have to use war paint or I'm trying to think. It's like, um, oh my God, I used to see it when I was a kid. It's like, it's very similar to makeup, but it's not makeup where you can just like, not almost like body paint in a way you can use that and stuff but like <laughs> poor baby she tried her best but the fact is that she used permanent marker that i don't know why it, it just reminded me as a child where and i think i can speak for this for every like adult now who is a 90s kid and maybe got some markers found out that they were permanent or you thought they were washable and you maybe did something like you wrote something on the wall or something or on something and your parents got mad at you and such because i did that when i was a kid <laughs> My mom said something to me. I got upset and I came in. I just like white dresser and I colored on <laughs> I was I was stupid. I was a baby. I was a child. A child. <laughs> we did weird things when we were kids. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode ten. Okay, episode 10 in 3, 2, 1, go. I have my phone. Oh, okay. So, okay, hold on. All right. So, she's playing baseball today. So, is a baseball or a baseball bat going to be <laughs> the end credit this week? Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Uh -uh. I remember, right? Yeah, like Cindy or anyone else, will you? <laughs> of course, Nagisa would be gone like. Yeah. She would. Yeah, in a creepy way. No, it's perfect. Mhm. Mm what the fuck? <laughs> oh no, it's not. You have to appreciate the little things of it. No, you're supposed to make them look happy. I'm by the window. Aww. She's not going to be able to stand still like that, though. Oh. Well, Jesus, sounds more like a bad hurricane. The hell is walking up the stairs?
Yes, Anna, you are such a, a bubbly airhead, and I love it. Damn. <laughs> But damn, we can uh, her, we're giving her an intervention. In your mind, baby. Are you sure you're okay about this? Yes. Poor baby. It's not the same. Mm. God, she's losing it. Now see, that's when you know you too far gone. You too far gone over here sniffing the clothes. Oh, poor baby. Everything has Inca's face on it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Don't delete them. Poor baby.
No, honey. Oh, one more try. Mm. Yeah, no one's good overnight, baby. No, no, Kim, you don't say that. Oh! Okay, throw it! It's okay. You're, you're trying. A for effort. Tanakula, like, what's the first from Idol Master? Nice catch, though. Damn. <laughs> uh oh <clears throat> Inca She'll be fine.
Yeah, nobody can hit that. But she hit it though. <laughs> she oh my god. <laughs> Fine, baby. <laughs> Poor baby. Oh no, it's nothing. Oh, I would have expected like a baseball. <laughs> no, the baseball's gonna come. <laughs> but you know what? Seeing her play baseball, honestly, just you know, it because it, it's so funny. Especially for, like, the arts of Attack on Titan since that is officially ending this weekend. Oh, no, it's the babies! Oh, that's even cuter! Um, I love seeing when animes get to collab with the baseball league and such. It's very interesting. And, and then, like, other sports animes like soccer and such. I mean, because we've never really had a football-esque anime so, like, God, that never happens. Pray to God. Because <laughs> I'm not into football. But as someone who likes to watch animes about sports, it's very interesting. I thought it was sweet. A different take on a traditional type of sports as anime for a half of an episode. But still, it was good. Sane trying her hardest not to, you know, be forceful around Inca, you know, she tried A for effort, it just didn't work out for her. She was like, no, I need to be around Inca 24-7, 365 days in a year, <laughs> just to be around her, because when I am around her, I am happy. Oh, there's one right <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. But yeah, I thought this was so fucking adorable. Oh my god. But I'm ready to see, like, That doll, number one, looked like a Chucky doll. <laughs> two, we're going hiking. Okay, come on now. Here, Here's the two horror things. The doll and going hiking. You do See, this is the same thing that we've talked about with laid back camp and how you never know what the heck you're going to go against when you go camping. And how I said the first time when I watched season one at the beginning and finished season one, I said, no, this show still didn't get me into camping. And then by the time I finished season two, I was like, this, still, this show still has not gotten me into camping. Because, number one, I would not survive camping. You know, okay, let me, let me tell you this. 
I don't know how many of you have ever seen the show. Um, there's two shows. One, Survivor, and two, Naked and Afraid. But especially Naked and Afraid. So, of course, the, the premise of Naked and Afraid is someone staying out, two people staying out in the wilderness, usually it is typically a man and a woman, for about a couple of months. And, of course, they don't have any clothes. They're just bare naked and they have to survive the wilderness for a certain amount of days. And you can leave whenever you want to. I think they want you to at least survive, like, the first five, ten days. And then whenever you're ready to dip, you dip. Um, I, I couldn't even do that, bruh. Like, nah, nah, nah. Especially when you're going into the tropics and it's hot and you're in rainforest and there's bugs and you have no clothes on, and you get bug bites everywhere? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. But they're like, no, we have a doctor on file just in case something happens. No. Why would it? See, here's the worst thing. You think you get money or something out of this, right? No. You don't get money out of it. You get nothing. You just get the satisfaction that you are okay with handling out, being, being able to handle the freaking wilderness of a rainforest or wherever the heck you're staying. There's no achievement. There's no money. Technically, there is an achievement with that, but I'm like, bruh, no, if I was doing it for money, that's a whole different ball game. Then maybe I at least try and such. But if I'm not getting anything in the end, why am I going to go out in the wilderness butt naked trying to get bug bites all over me and to come home and probably get, like, sick? Why would I do that? I wouldn't do that. That's, that's not smart. That ain't smart. And the funny thing is, I haven't watched that show in a while, but I might be, I might be watch like, new episodes. It's a good show, but I, I would never do something like that. No, no, no. But yeah, today's episodes are really, really good. I really enjoyed what we got this week. Honestly, kind of wait until next week just to see how the hiking is going to go for Ego and Ego. And maybe the doll thing, because I want to know why that doll looks so creepy. But other than that, guys, it was my reaction for you too. <laughs> my <laughs> two episodes nine and ten of squid girl if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day show the master squad and of course i will see everybody officially all i think it's next two no because it's been forever i think it's either wednesday or thursday for regular people and then next front nope saturday 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 next saturday for patreons for episodes 11 and 12 but until then i will see you guys all next time bye